back with another episode of Be More's Best Riders Podcast. Now let them know who we're here with right now on the couch. How you got, uh, my name is Sambo for real. I own a union brand. From next up, Shank. Alright, man. And we at your shop, man. Oh, for sure. That's lit, man. Let, let everybody know the address of where to pull up at. 4903 Bellet Road, Baltimore, Maryland. Right here across from Enterprise with Rim Swords and all that for real. Alright, that's what's up. That's lit, bro. We're going to get back to that. But we're going to take it, yeah, man, to the beginning, man. What was the first thing you hopped on? What was that, yeah, man? The first love of bike life? Uh, My first bike was a 50. XR. What is it? XR? What is it? Yeah. The Honda joint? Yeah, XR50. Yeah, the XR50. I got that when I was four. And I got my first bike at four. I can't remember. First bike I had. No, I, I had um, I had a little Polestar. A little phony bike. That's my first bike. Yeah. I forgot. I don't even know what it's called. It had right, the handbrakes on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had that. That's my first bike. Alright, so when niggas was little, man, give me your, your top five riders you was looking up to when you was little. Um, my top five was Neil, Dev, Lips, Chino, and my uncle. That's my top five. My top five. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Go with Neil, Dev, I.E., Chino. I'm gonna say Charlie. I like Charlie Swag. I like how he was always cool on the bike for real. I talk about swag. Describe your swag on the bike. No, I be chilling, yo. I just enjoy riding. You know I mean? like, you like me, bro. I just enjoy riding. This is swag chat. Let's yeah. talk about it. Let's talk about it. I be, I be chilling for real. I nah, y'all be, be chilling. Yeah, I just do my own thing for real. <laughs> I just do for me. What's your, what's your go to trick? What's your favorite trick? My favorite trick is Superman. That's my favorite trick. I just gotta got learn how to swerve though. I gotta learn how to swerve too. That's your problem. All right, you at the you at the you at the bike shop right now. What's your what's your your go to bike? Your dream bike? You copping off the floor? Oh, my favorite bike one fifty R. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna go with a one fifty R. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a one fifty R or I like the YZF two fifty. Yeah. Like when when y'all started out riding, did y'all get nice like off the break or yeah, man y'all I mean, y'all had I'm to bust y'all ass? Level, you feel me? <laughs> I'm cool. I can get a little you feel me a little pats in, but nah, yeah that shit definitely come with blood, sweat, and tears. You know? <laughs> I just seen him take a lot of spills. Work. What, what was your worst spill? My worst spill. My first time on a one fifty y'all. <laughs> <laughs> my first time on 150 yard, I messed my ankle up. Yeah, trying welly. I was out, out of commission. I think that was the worst one. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I got um, I got three. <laughs> you see, you got three. I got three when I broke my wrist, broke my arm, and we're doing one more right now. My ankle. Mm. Yeah, they was the worst. Out of all of them. Okay, okay. Now, um, when I was little, you feel me? Like when it came to like fashion, like I felt like over east had like Cashland, and then over west had I don't know if y'all remember uh, Samos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. feel me? But so over east, uh, we also had uh, Dada's. Dada's, Dada's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a real limited, you feel me, amount, but we used to go cop that shit. Yeah. Even though, like, that shit was some cheap shit. Like, <laughs> Sam O's leather used to be falling off my yeah, shit, falling off my head, man. This See, shit. I couldn't wait to grow up and get a Sam O's. I couldn't ever fit it. You feel <laughs> me? But I, I, I bring that up to say, like, now you got your brand, you feel me? Like, where, where that inspiration come from? 
Um, the inspiration really came from just like my mother dressing me as a kid for real. But like I never, I ain't gonna say I always had the desire to have my own brand. It came like I'm gonna say, well, when I started, when I started like really thinking about doing it was like 2012, 2013 for real. I was always, that's back then where niggas still rocking polo and all that for real. 2012, yeah, I'm gonna say polo, true religion, all that, but the mother was like, you spending all this money on making these people rich, why you don't just start your own brand? Which I feel like you always, went, like a lot of people that got their brand probably had that one person tell them that for real. But yeah, my mother basically told me that after that, she, you know, she helped me get it started. But I ain't really had a passion for it then, though. I still wanted to wear everything I wanted to wear, which was, you know, true legend and everything that was popular. But, yeah, that's how I really got it. But now it's a whole bunch of brands. Everybody got a brand, you feel me? What you think that you bring to Baltimore fashion, you feel me? Or just fashion period that makes you stand apart from everybody. Cause you know, it's a, it's a, it's a handful of niggas that's really like Union, you know, Vane, you nah, feel sure, me? Like, sure. yeah, man, yeah. a couple other riders got their brands too, you feel me? They popping. So like, what, what's, what's that that you got that separates you from all? I mean, I feel like my brand really for the culture. Like, fans is like bike life. Like, that's the culture. Like, if you don't like bike life, you just hate fun, for real. But, like, that's why I really, like, I feel like what make me stand out is, like, yeah, like I said, like, how I'm coming or who I'm doing it for. Like, my target audience, like, who I'm targeting, for real. And, like, just the demeaning of it, the stand, like, how I'm standing on my brand, for real. Like, like, I'm doing, I'm doing more than just selling clothes, you feel me? Like, it's not just a clothing brand, it's a brand itself. So I'm feeding the homeless. I'm going to schools, talk to kids about it. I'm giving out free shirts. Like I did last summer, you know, the, the every town joint for real gave my whole, all my shirts went to bike life for real. Cause that's the culture, you feel me? So it's like, I'm really doing it for the culture. Let's talk about that right quick. Touch on that right quick. Cause you know, you know, that's when um, we did some, that's my style, you know, that's my style. Right? <laughs> Yeah, man. So you know, <laughs> we did. We went up there. You found me. I mean, we was doing business out there. But just to see that you represented the culture and talked for the culture, wow. You found me. For yeah, sure, man. Sure. Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'll be in that office and then I look out the window, see all the big buildings, all these people, and it's like, damn, how we end up in this bitch? Yeah, and sure. it, it get a little intimidating. But niggas really, yeah, man, yeah. held it down. You found me. So like. What type of advice can you give somebody that want to start a brand or I mean, and have that, that bravery to just chase it chase it down? I feel like at the end of the day, you got to stay true to yourself. Like, you can't really chase trends. You know what I'm saying? Because it might not be you. So that, that goes down to the also finding your target audience. Like, that, that's a big part of having your own brand. Like, I got streetwear, but try and sell it to somebody at the church. Like, you feel me? That ain't gonna work, you feel me? So it's about finding your target audience and staying true to yourself, understanding your style, and yeah, like I said, your audience for real. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, man. Now, you know, when I ride, bro, like, I got some old ass 992s, you feel me? Some old ass sweats. But you feel me? It's some niggas that really throw that shit on. Man, man right here for that shit. Give me your top five drippiest niggas on the bike, man, that throw that shit on. Next up, Shank. Uh, I'm gonna say Trayvon. Yeah, Trayvon. T-Rock. Yeah, T-Rock. Who else? Charlie. Even though that was, he don't really ride like that no more, but. One more. Oh, Eski. Can't leave out Eski either. You got some different top five? Let's see. Uh, 
No, I think I got the same. Cause a lot of people, you know, they wear that. They wear that regular shit because they know they're gonna get dirty for real. But yeah, I'm gonna say the same. I'm gonna say the same people. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, like, what do you think? Along with the bike life culture, where can you take that fashion? Like, what's the next level? What's the next step? Um. Can you say it again? Like. You know, you got your clothing brand, you feel me? We got bike life, but you know, we we, we here, you feel me? Like, we right. here with it. Like, what you think could take it to the next level, you feel me? Like, saying, saying niggas in motocross or supercross with union brand on or some shit like that, you feel me? Wearing your gloves and shit like that. I feel I just got to stay consistent and try network more. And like try to reach different platforms, you feel me? But I feel like what I've been dropping now, I feel like if you see it, you gonna want it. So I don't feel like no different like design or you feel me? Like I feel like my creativity gonna get the shine as long as it get on the right platform. Other than Baltimore, what's what's your next best city to ride in? See, I ain't never really riding no other city. Oh, you don't really fuck with the ride out since then. My next city is um, Cleveland. It's just like here for real. Niggas be calling you out? No, not really. You ain't got nobody you be trying to call out? Oh, I'm lying. WJZ Drake. Okay. He always, he always talking that bullshit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he, he the only one, though. He the only one. Okay, okay. All right, man. One last question. If y'all could bring back, you know, dead or alive, the one last person to take a ride with, who would that be? I say Dad, Lord Dad, he always be my favorite rider. He said dead or alive though. I don't know, cause I done, I rode with a couple of old heads yeah. I wanted to ride with for real. Yeah, yeah I'ma say Dad, I ain't, I ain't never ride with him. Okay, I rode with all, all, the, all the other ones. Okay, okay, hold on. Any 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 uh crazy chase stories? Any crazy chase stories y'all talking about? No? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, <laughs> yeah, I got the shit chased out me a long time ago. Uh it was I ain't always exaggerating, it's probably like probably like twelve, thirteen cars. They were chasing me. I, they chased me from east, from downhill, all the way to Wheeldale, all the way back over east. Back they, downhill. They were chasing them so long the helicopters had to switch out. Yeah, they, I had to get gas. Had to run, yeah. And you got, I had to get gas. Yeah, I, I, I called them. I called them for gas. <laughs> I didn't even get crazy. to get the gas. They that came in so fast. And yo, that's my next step, right? That shit was crazy. When niggas talking about they chase tour, I'm trying to get like the animated, like the animation and shit. Yeah. You feel me? It's like when niggas talking about that shit, like you just had the animation. They don't really shit. chase you like they they used to back then, though. Cause man, hell, we got chased a couple different times. Well, you know, that was the worst. They ain't supposed to do it. You feel me? Nah, that's yeah, just the. Sure. You feel me? So I feel like they doing wrong, and they feel like we doing wrong. That cancel shit out. Like right, you right, feel right, me? Right. Like no hard, no foul. Right. Let's go about your business, you feel me? But you feel me? That's that's Baltimore, man. Um, as far as any other city, you feel me? Like I, I fuck with, I got a lot of niggas I fuck with in Philly and shit. So like, but as far as other cities claiming the the, the throne, you feel me? How y'all feel about that? Like, no, this the dirt bike capital. They they know that. They just talk shit. They, they all them cities they know. They got they gotta come down here for real to be official. Like a lot of niggas can't a lot of niggas came down here, but a lot of niggas didn't. A lot of niggas won't come. They scared. Somebody gonna take their bike or whatever. But we just come to ride. So Baltimore Baltimore gotta stamp you, basically. Yeah, for real. Alright, man. Go ahead, drop your uh social medias for everybody, man. Uh, next up Shank dot one. Yeah, my uh I got my personal page was a slick sambo on Instagram and then my brand page is Union Brand out one on Instagram. Alrighty man. Be more best riders podcast, man. Let me out.